do the whole next slide thing, right? Just <laughs> tell the person. This is like a, it's basically like a Zoom meeting, you know? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. I'm Macho. And thank you for joining us. You're doing all right. Welcome back, everyone. And uh, welcome back, Macho. Yeah, we're here again. Yes, we are. It is. It hasn't been that long, but that music is somewhat nostalgic. (laughs) It's come back. (laughs) It's it's grown on me. It's definitely grown on me. (laughs) We're going to throw it out and replace it with something else like, you know, <laughs> deep trap techno or something. I don't know. So um, look, look out for that. The the rebrand, refresh, you know, 2.0 reboot or something. So perfect. I can't wait. But uh, I guess that's not going to happen like right now. But that's fine. It's it's good enough. Um, much have you been? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a while. I mean, even uh, IRL, I think um, we haven't really. Yeah. You know, I think only recently in the last, you know, couple of weeks we've been able to catch up. Um, yeah, but even before that was that one time we went to booze, huh? I think, yeah, I, maybe that was the last time we were able to really see each other. I mean, I think we saw each other. Uh, yeah, that's October, right? Yeah. But I mean, we saw each other briefly um, uh, in December when um, we uh, helped move some things. That's right. Across a that's parking right. lot to... Uh, building in the same complex for on the same floor yeah um so there was that i think that that's fine <laughs> you know but yeah. i guess outside of the context of uh, manual labor and um some physical effort this is uh there you go it's there hasn't yeah. been much go, you know too much but you're a very busy man my child you are in demand right am i though not by anyone important okay well, it's all war. Uh huh. Well, you know, um, you're helping the economy. Uh, I don't know, right? Yeah, Isn't that how it works? Helping my economy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's very good reasons why um, why that's the case, and I think we'll, I guess, we'll get into some of the the fruits of that in a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but you know, in the meantime, it's uh, well, it's good to see you. Um, but you know, in the meantime, you know, since we've last spoken and even you know touch base a lot's been going on you know in yeah in, awesome. obviously in our personal lives but uh in uh the world around us you know even now uh we've got some some rain going on some storms and yeah, what uh, the heck man it's <laughs> been mean, a lot of rain this year already yeah and you know typically typical la we uh we don't know what to do when it rains yeah. we just cry i think and it's all panic and, yeah um in the words of uh uh, the venerable pro ZD, it's, you know, raining LaCroix, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone I gets, saw that one. I don't know if anyone gets that, but, uh, you know, that's, that's basically what happens. So, um, a lot of, so, you know, a lot of weather going on, um, in, in the, in the past, uh, year we've seen, um, a lot of closures in with restaurants, you know, as far as that goes, uh, yeah. there was several articles, um, covered on that. And the list is pretty extensive. I, don't have it with me and we won't really get into that, um, you know, this time, but it's just kind of crazy to see, um, you know, that that's the case. I think, it's you so know, many, yeah. I will touch on one, you know, um, just reminds me that, uh, the, the Suhiro, uh, you know, cafe in little Tokyo, right. Um, had, had closed and, um, well they moved, right. But, yes. but they were kind of evicted. Well, yeah, they were technically evicted. They weren't going to move until everything went down. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, under some shady uh, pretenses, I think. And um, yeah. But actually, uh, a little bit on that. I was walking by the old place yesterday because uh, we, we, we got lunch at a ramen spot, not mm-hmm. Daiko. Yeah. Mm. Um, but on the inside, there's like a, a piece of paper that's like, fake news or whatever dispensary no such thing where mm-hmm. is it kind of like somebody posted it in there uh and i i still just find it kind of shady because just because it could have just been because of all the blowback from 
all the press that they got, though whoever it was originally backed out. Is that right? I don't know. That's just my tinfoil hat theory. Mm. But yeah, because there's there's like a, a one pager with at least two paragraphs just talking about how it was all some sort of conspiracy against the the landlord. Huh. If you uh, I don't know if you happen to see that still posted, I'd be interested to to see what you got for that. Um, take a closer look. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if it's still there. I didn't real. I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw the big bolded parts. Right. Yeah. We're really looking for a TLDR at this point, you know. Um. But yeah, I mean, sorry. So yeah, I mean, just to kind of bring it back, it's uh, um, a lot of you know different changes. I think with a lot of different restaurants, uh, different you know different uh, all around. So, um, and on top of that, you know, I think just on top of mind, you know, and relatively recently we've i've read um you know new stuff about uh deaths of restaurateurs you know chefs and stuff really um there's two that you know notably came across and um i'll you know share those uh in those notes but it's just kind of sad to see you know i think one was i don't know actually we don't really know the cause of you know either of these but um. they're definitely unexpected and they were these were guys that were um, pretty young. I think one wasn't oh, really? too much older than, you know, we are, maybe a few years. And maybe the other guy was, I think, in their early mid 40s. You know, it's, uh, oh, yeah. it's kind of crazy. So, so, um, so it's sad. Um, and, it, you know, kind of reminds me just, you know, notably, right, from uh, uh, of Ray, right? Uh, Ramirez of Ray's Barbecue, um, when that mm-hmm. kind of dropped. It, it's just, you know, kind of when that happens, you know, you see that and you kind of have that moment of disbelief or you're not really sure what you're seeing. And then once you process it, it's or start to take it in. Yeah, it's um, it's really yeah. crazy. Um, I don't know. It. I, I didn't mean to start off on a uh, kind of on a down note, but it seems that well, it seems like that's what, that's what the year is coming. But yes, hopefully we look forward to a better 2024. Um I mean, since we last talked too, I mean, there's obviously there's always eating going on and uh, consumption and uh, indulgence and I don't know, some degree of uh, uh, regret, I guess, mm-hmm. <laughs> after mm-hmm. the fact. Always. But that, but I think that's when you know uh, you've done it right. <laughs> uh, when, yeah, when you've come to the point of like, oh man, I think I overdid right. it. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the, the right way. Um, but there are many places that have been visited, and uh, I think it warrants um, to do its own um, episode on it at some point. Um, mm-hmm. I actually, I, I did put together a, you know, I bit put together that list, but um, I hadn't had the time to really talk about it. So um, we'll uh, we'll do that eventually. I don't know. Um, Definitely. But with that, I wanted to highlight a, a few things um, that a, pla- a few places that I visited and wanted to kind of just, yeah, talk about uh, the first is this um, uh, pop-up called bun project. And um, this actually is a burger smash burger pop-up. No surprise, you know, because mm-hmm. fundamental food group, food group yeah. yeah. Um, by uh, a friend of mine, Jose, uh, we've kind of, I think we've maybe mentioned him now and again but he um you know we go on food adventures from time to time Mm. but he put this together called bun project and uh i think it so he does this at this place called vendome wine and something uh it's it's like a liquor shop wine shop or whatever they have all sorts of you know um fine beverages that they sell so um that place i think that the guy that he's working with or whatever, I think they had this idea to they the, um, the owner, they have tastings or, you know, the, there's a place where, you know, people can buy drinks and stuff. Um, and Jose, he, you know, had this idea to, you know, make the food, you know? So of course, you know, you can't go wrong with burgers and drinks and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, that was, uh, he's been doing that. I don't know, maybe, I'm not really sure. Let's say a few months. So not, not too long. Yeah. And, um, the thing is that's all the way in, um, SGV and Arcadia. 
So it's pretty for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty far and distant, but, um, I made the trip out there and, um, I'm glad I did. I mean, it was, um, you know, he's kind of been experimenting on, you know, the types of ingredients, the, the bun that he uses, you know, uh, Mm. the way he's smashing and things like that. Um, but yeah. And then to have that with, you know, at a place that, um, I think just naturally comes together with drinks and stuff. I mean, it's, uh, Mm. it makes sense. It makes sense. So it's just, he's just doing it on his own. Um, and, uh, I think he already kind of knows the, the audience, I think, and the size that he should prepare for and things like that. And I'm sure, you know, he'd welcome, you know, more, uh, visitors and things to try him out. So, yeah, I think he does two types of burgers. You know, one is like more like a fried onion burger, uh, which is typical for the smash. And then one that's more like, um, you know, kind of a roadside, maybe California style burger. I don't know. Something like that with the lit- the lettuce and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that was, um, that was nice to, to visit. So I hope to, to get out there again. Um, but there's that fun project. Okay. The, uh, the next one I want to, to mention, um, kind of has to do, I, I think I talked with you. We, uh, I, uh, got to hang out with, uh, mm-hmm. with, uh, Oliver and Oliver is, uh, uh, one of Patrick's uh, many cousins. So, um, and, uh, I hadn't seen Oliver in a while. And, uh, from time to time we would maybe just hit each other up just to say hi or whatever, but finally got to go out and, and hang out with him. He's very nice to, um, yeah, I mean, I met him out where in his neighborhood out in Culver city and he's nice mm-hmm. to kind of take me around and try a few things. We, um, and these, uh, loaded fries out in, uh, at a place called, uh, Serviteca, I think it's called, um, small kind of shop, you know, nothing too crazy, but, um, sizable. I think he was originally thinking that, uh, or planning to order like a whole thing just for me and something for him, which I guess would have been okay. But then mm-hmm. when, um, when he had said that he wanted to kind of visit a few other places around, I'm um, like, let's, um, Oh, wow. You are the one who called for moderation. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, we don't, we don't hang like that regularly, right? Like you and I probably no problem. You know, we do that all day, <laughs> but, uh, got to watch my audience here. got to, got to be respectful. It was and his suggestion. I guess so. But, um, he, he doesn't, uh, probably doesn't know how hard we can go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh maybe next time we'll, we'll just kind of, you know, push the limits just Test a little. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, you know, around there, Culver city has a downtown Culver city certainly has a lot of great places, uh, spots mm-hmm. out there, but we went there. I think, uh, the other place I wanted to mention was uh, honey kettle, uh, which was, uh, a favorite to Patrick actually. Um, they make some great fried chicken out there. Um, mm. and they have a really good, um, like biscuit and it's like a regular biscuit. They got a butter, like a buttermilk biscuit and a, a blueberry biscuit. It's just really soft and moist, you know, um, it's not necessarily a flaky biscuit. Yeah. It's more like a fluffy biscuit. Okay. Um, so anyway, but it, it is quite good. And the fried chicken, they've got a nice fry, very crispy and just, um, it really holds together. I think like I had taken, um, some for the, for the road and, uh, when I had brought it home, yeah, it still held well and it was nice. Uh, it's a good, um, it's a good chicken. So <laughs> can't go okay, wrong. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I want to thank and a shout out to Oliver for, for that. So, um, and then in the, um, the Silver Lake area in that neighborhood, there was, there be. is a, <laughs> there is a, uh, relatively new, um, newcomer to that neighborhood. Um, but from a spot that's not as new, it's, um, uh, this spot called mid East tacos. And, uh, this place is like the perfect, like intersection, I think of flavors of like Armenian and, and Mexican, you know? So you have like these tacos with like asada or chicken or whatever, or, uh, but they have this distinct like falafel taco. So you have these like, you know, little, uh, pieces of falafel, these round, Piece, and then they're put on the in the taco and mm-hmm. they they're garnished and they got this uh this sauce you know um very like kind of um with those kind of uh middle eastern or uh armenian you know flavors in there so 
Um, it's a unique bite. So they had um, they had been set up. They had popped up. I think they were at Smorgasbord for a minute. They were um, mm-hmm. in Highland Park for a little while. Just set up on, you know, there on uh, York, you know, that stretch over there. Um, but uh, the, uh, the owner, um, his parents own um, this, uh, the restaurant in Glendale called the Mini Kebab. Which is, uh, I think, in the last few years. Well, I don't say a few years. I mean, they've been around for a long time. I mean, it's a mom and pop shop, been around like forever. But um, definitely, they'll. There? I don't know. I don't know if we've been together, but maybe you've been. It's a. It's like a almost like it's definitely like a hole in the wall spot. Like mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. the seating is just there's like barely any seating. I don't even know if they do seating anymore. But there's like two or three tables, you know, something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. But they, you know, I think. They're definitely in the conversation, you know, of uh, best food, you know, best, um, you know, style of food for kebabs and things like that. Oh, okay. um, wow. But um, yeah, I mean, just the sweet, the sweet couple that that runs that. But then, yeah, their son um, has done his own thing with this with Mideast. Um, and so now it's nice to kind of see them um, or see them uh, yeah, established, you know, with a brick and mortar. Um, and you know, it was popping, you know, I gotta say it was, um, it was popping. It's across from, uh, you know, the 99 cent store on sunset, Mm. um, Mm -hmm. going, going, um, east into downtown. So like, yeah, that, that direction. So you'll find it right at the corner of sunset and you know, whatever that is, we're, we're the 99 cent store. So Mm -hmm. there's your landmark, at least for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh. It would be an interesting um, place to to try. I think it's uh, I think it's great. Uh, I I remember trying it a few times in the past, and glad I got to you know try it again. So yeah, it's it's definitely Good. up there. It's very uh, visible in the public eye right now. You know, for food and stuff. So um, mm. I'm sure it's going to be busy for a little bit, but um, be worth a trip. So, um, but yeah, and then one more place. Just um, just want to. Uh, shout out to uh, our friends uh, Viv and Russ from uh, Smoky Jones. I uh, hope they're doing okay out there in, in Florida. Florida. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how you uh, really feel. Um, Look, but so far away. They if are they went far. to like Vegas that would have been, or somewhere in Nevada, at least, uh-huh. would, at least we could have visited, you know, or regularly. Even, even uh, I don't know, Arizona or I don't know. Yeah, somewhere closer. Well, I guess. Um, is is i know they're like in a part they're in the part more north part i think which is not Mm -hmm. the part where disney is so i don't know if like it's still a uh if it's a strong motivator like if we planned a trip to go out to disney (laughs) world or something we just kind of throw that in there secondary secondary part of the trip yeah that one primary is smoky jones yeah i think so but uh um viv sent me a uh Mm -hmm. Send me a, a, a spot, um, a small chain called Smokin' Tiger uh, Coffee and Bread. It's a coffee shop. You know, it's like, I think Korean, but they make, you okay. know, drinks, you know, coffee and whatnot and pastries and whatever. So, um, you know, I had to, I think one of the more notable things is they have this like um, garlic cheesy bread thing. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can um if I can bring that up here. But um yeah, it was it was um it was nice. They have several locations. Um, but there is one in Gardena, which is uh, close enough to uh you know for to me. You. So yeah. yeah. Um I'm trying to find like where the specific thing I was um trying to look for, but oh there it is. This Korean cream cheese garlic bread. Isn't that right up our alley? I feel like that's right yeah. up our alley, right? You had me at cream cheese. I think that's, I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Look at that. That's, uh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah. I will say though, unfortunately I did not get to try that. <laughs> so oh, sold out I, or. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think you really got to go in the morning, at least maybe at that location. I don't know, but that's been my experience. Like maybe I went in the late morning or early afternoon. And it was like, okay. there's like, a, there's a case, you know, of all the food you can, and all the pastries you can get. Um, but it's all gone uh, by then. 
who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's just the day or the time, the timing of it. But it yeah, I mean, be. look, look at this. I mean, it's cream, cream cheese, garlic. I mean, I think that's a pretty interesting combo, looks right? Awesome. I mean, that's, yeah. uh, I think something worth trying. So, um, but you know, the drinks were good, the lattes, coffees, you know, whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's a mini chain. So they got several locations. Uh, so check them out wherever they are, you know, if there's one near you, but you know, there you go. Um, my child, you know, what's, uh, what's going on with you? Since I hadn't actually thought about covering this at all, but, um, what was it last week? Was it last week? Last weekend we went to like a, a, a stick place in Koreatown. Like one of those where they have a, think of it like Korean barbecue, mm-hmm. but with, with meat sticks with like yakitori. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. It's called, it was in K-Town. Uh, it's so called Fei-Sh- Uh-huh. Go ahead. It's like fei Gong or something like that. Wow. I don't know. F-E-I. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> X-I-A-N-G. fei Gong? Gong. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like it's uh, like a chain as well. Like a small chain. Yeah. Uh, um, but you went to one in K-Town. All mm-hmm. right. So we're talking about kebab. Yeah, like skewer yeah. like stuff. Yeah. Um there was a place. Sure. Let me see. Um what did you have over? Did you have mostly skewers or did you have like other types of food as well? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we did get like a, a side order of uh fried squid, which was good mm. too. Um it was already cooked, but like this the the meat comes out raw and then you you cook it on the grill. Do you uh <laughs> usually pay yeah, do you pay for it like as a set, you know, like 20 skewers or something? And then you just... No, it's a la carte. So per skewer? Per skewer, yeah. Or per, um, like one order, like for the, the basic skewers, like lamb uh, uh-huh. was 10, 10 skewers. So uh, what were the types of, you know, meats that we're talking about? You mentioned lamb. There are others. Yeah, we got lamb. We got uh, spicy lamb as well. We got uh-huh. beef. And then uh, there was chicken hearts. They had other like organs, which was cool. We only had the chicken hearts that night, mm. but what? Yeah. And there was pork belly, which is always good. And, uh, yeah. who, uh, I guess, how did you decide on, you know, trying this out or going here? Um, one of our friends, someone named Claire, she was the one who suggested it cause she's always looking for other food places. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's always the one that finds this, this stuff. Okay. She she's been once before, uh, yeah. and she wanted to try it again. Basically. Oh, okay. And how did it turn out for you guys? It was good. No, it was yeah. actually really good. All right. Yeah, um, and like the there's that mechanism where you put the, like uh where you grill them. There's like slots by the yeah. base. Mm-hmm. Um, the skewers they have had gears uh, that you align in the slots, and then it actually moves sideways so that it it cooks it. Um, so we take something look like this, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, you have the, uh, yeah. I mean, you have these slots. You see the, like the ninja star kind of thing that kind of yeah, rolls yeah. Around, um, yeah. on this grate so, so that it kind of holds it in place and, yeah. Yeah, and then it, it moves so that it rotates the, the, yeah, yeah. the skewer. Oh, I it, see. So that, that so this moves. It's a mechanical thing. The base does, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. There That's really go. cool. Less flipping needed. How, how much, how long do you think it takes to cook something like that? Or how, you know. It wasn't too long, like per, for, for skewers, because it's adjustable flame, right? And mm-hmm. so it does depend on that, but it was fine. It, it cooked what, less than 10 minutes for one, for, for like a set. Yeah. I think the place I'm thinking about, let me see if I can bring it up here. Yeah. Feng Mao was the one I was remembering. There was a oh, okay. spot that was, uh, there's one, there are a couple of locations. There's one. I remember that was on Olympic. It's near Patrick, um, and it's it's you know basically you know that idea. It's these okay. the skewers with the lamb and the other meats that rotate mm-hmm. on the fire thing. So um, you know it's not totally uh, uncommon. You know they're they're out there, and nice. they uh, they look delicious. So I'm glad there's uh, there's another option to try. So good, pretty awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Um yeah. Anything else you uh think good you tried or 
food, non-food? I don't know. I mean, recently there was also, like, we went yesterday, but mm-hmm. we've had it once before. It was a uh, Hachioji ramen. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not too far from Daikokia, but honestly, I like it more. Mm-hmm. Um, well, it's not like traditional ramen, I guess, because it has one that's like garlic sesame, which is which I really liked. Um, I've been there once, but that was about it. But it, I like it. I, I I prefer that ramen over Daikokuya's ramen. Interesting. Okay. What's that place again? Uh, Hachioji. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also along that that block where Suihiro was and yeah. Daikokuya is. Yeah. We get to right like right next to Fugetsudo. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll um make sure to include that. You have to check it out. Yeah, that one's cool. Nice. You know, speaking of um speaking of food, you know, we want to <laughs> I mean, do we yeah. speak of anything else? Of course. Well, again, thanks to everyone. And, you know, thanks to really our listeners, right? Our um, our few and only fans yeah, uh, yeah, for joining us. You know, we talk about these food adventures and local spots and, and food pop-ups and whatever and everything in between with good food and and uh, and good people. Um, We're going to take a little break and then um, we'll be right back back craving a root beer with sass barks the one with the bite has been crushing thirst since 1898 bold flavor a touch of caffeine perfect for kicking off your day or chilling after burgers fries pie barks pairs perfectly summer barbecues cozy winter nights barks is down for anything stock your fridge with a taste bud party Use code DUMB at checkout for 0% off your next order at insert affiliate link here. Barks, hey, it's the one with the bite. All right, and we're back. Um, hope you didn't miss us too much. Uh, moving the one on. With the bite. <laughs> That's right, the one with the bite. Um, you always shout out to our sponsors. <laughs> never forget. Uh, today, you know, we wanted to, uh, talk, actually I wanted to talk about, um, I didn't want to talk about it, actually, I didn't want to talk. So actually I'm going to hand it over to, oh, uh, God, what if there's a terrible to, uh, idea. to my chow, uh, he's going to, he's going to tell what it's all about. So yeah, tell us why we are here today. My chow. Yeah. Today is going to be more about, uh, my adventures recently. Cause it was, uh, kind of a big one. Uh, part of the reason we haven't done this Sure, sure. That's part of the reason we haven't done this in a while. It's uh, definitely a reason. Yeah, yeah. No, it's definitely yeah, it's a good eight. reason. You know, to, to step away from this. It's like, uh, so yeah, it was great. I went to uh, went to Japan for a couple of weeks. Amazing, Nihongo. Yeah, I've been yes, <laughs> that is correct. Uh, been a while. I was there in 2018 last. Oh, so it's a lot. Not a, maybe not a lot, but there have been some changes that I. I don't remember, so it was nice. So, I mean, so how um, you were there a couple weeks and... Yeah, it was two weeks. We did, yeah. uh, what was it? We did a couple, like, tra- we had set aside a couple travel days where we stayed a night, an extra night in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. But the plan mm-hmm. was to go to a ryokan in Gunma Prefecture. Um, and then there was a couple days in Kyoto, or maybe, like, I think it was four days in Kyoto. Mm-hmm. Uh, three full days in Kyoto. And then nine days tokyo amazing so you saved tokyo for like kind of that later part or most of your yeah because like if we we're gonna if we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff it's easier to get all the traveling like out of the way you know because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guna prefecture was like a three-hour bus ride away uh we don't want to take too much stuff if like if we have a bunch of crap a bunch of anime crap or whatever that we bought yeah um kyoto obviously half the country away uh, and then half the country back to get back to Tokyo. So travel light, right? Interesting. Until that's why on the last week is when we did our heavier shopping days. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And uh, who, who was uh, traveling with you? Um, it was actually a sizable group. At first it was, uh, so it was me only Salem. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Ariel, if you remember, I don't know if you knew him from Marshall. Um, I know of him. Okay. Yeah. So Ariel as well. That's good. And who else we got? We had Oli's brother, Oliver. 
mm. his friend Nina. Okay. And then later on, like in our week stay in Tokyo, one of Oli's friends met up with us in in Tokyo after. Like she's from NorCal, but she met us in Japan. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's it's a sizable group. I mean, how do yeah. you uh how do you manage, you know, with traveling with people that size? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Oli was Oli did most of the planning. Oh yeah? Um, okay. Oh yeah. And I was like, ah, I'll do whatever. And then interestingly enough, she also met up with a couple friends that lived in, in Japan. So mm. okay. her she was busy. Well, I remember you had mentioned that Oli actually had visited there not too long ago. Yeah, just last year, last January, actually. Yeah, so back again. Just can't uh, stay yeah. away. And um, um, when when was the last time? Uh, yeah, not a bad thing, you know. But you got to yeah. remind me. I know you you visited as well. And when was the last time you had? Uh, visited yeah, there? that was 2018. Uh, 2018. February 2018. Okay, so almost exactly six years later. Wow. Or prior, I suppose. Well, I'm sure, I don't know, there's probably a lot that's changed, but maybe a lot that's the same, but uh, familiar thing, yeah. but new adventures as well, especially with uh, with a new group, you know, different personalities oh, yeah, definitely. and things like that. So um, just, you know, before we get into more of it, I mean, just how, how did you find yourself uh, uh, traveling or like moving around, you know, across the different areas, you know, he had uh, he'd been at? Oh, it was How all you... just walking or trains or buses, public, all public transport or walking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do any Ubers or no taxis. No. Didn't rent a car. Yeah. Um, but we did do like from Japan to, or from Tokyo to Kyoto, we did the, the bullet train because mm -hmm. otherwise it would take way too long. <laughs> like that, uh -huh. was, that was a three hour ride. No kidding. Okay. Yeah, huh. at going around 200 miles an hour, so. That's, uh, that was cool. Not bad. Um, yeah. So do you, uh, let's, let's get into it. I know you've, uh, you sh you've, you have a lot of things to share and you've shared a lot of, um, like pictures, you know, that you'd like to kind of share as well. So to our, uh, our listeners, we'd encourage you to check us out on, um, you know, when this is up on, on the YouTube, um, so you kind of see everything and it's, uh. Pixelated, uh, yeah, it's all a mess. Honestly. <laughs> These are pictures mostly taken off of the Galaxy S8. <laughs> so, nope, sorry, S10. So it's okay. a five year old phone at this point. Not, uh, not too bad. Um, gets the job done, you know. Is that yeah. your phone? Was that your phone? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a phone you'd used, you know, that would just work in Japan or something. I don't know. I don't even know now. No, um, because Verizon sucks. Uh, some places have better plans like t-mobile i think is pretty good to travel with yeah um but with verizon it's like ten dollars a day if you want to use your not even your plan it would just be oh yes like a, yes. a worse version of your plan yes i i think i had done something similar when i traveled yeah, uh, so last year so that. um yeah it was a hefty you know but i wanted the convenience of uh keeping the number and you know all that i don't know yeah it's fair um, but what we did, because in the airport we landed at in Narita, they have like a couple kiosks that offer like a pocket Wi-Fi device yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you could use, yeah. use that's right. how we're using our phones. So you could use MMS texting or um, video calls or whatever had right. you, whatever, right. what you have, what have you. Okay. You thought it was, it worked out okay? It was reliable oh, yeah. enough? Okay. It was, it was real, yeah. It never, it had like a. 13 14 hour battery life so it was yeah. good most days but okay. just in case we also had battery packs if you needed to charge it oh cool um yeah so it was fine it, it lasted more than enough for what for what we needed mm -hmm. nice and we got like a bunch of different ones so the group so we can split off if, if need be nice did, did you mostly stay together or did you guys do things on your own uh, at I first it was mostly staying together because other Aside from Oli and I, mm -hmm. no one has been to no one has been to Japan before, oh, and okay. a couple of people have never been out of the country before. Wow! So first time international. That. That's that's yeah. somewhat that's very exciting, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. I'm sure. But uh, there's also a lot to you know to prepare and consider, you know, especially for international travel. And yeah, I don't know. Just they were they were very nervous those mm -hmm. uh, those two, but 
so at first it was a lot of staying together, um, which was a little rough because doing a bunch of things that not everybody wanted to do kind of thing. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot more compromise. As mm-hmm. the trip went on, though, we were just like, ah, fuck it. You do you. We'll go this way. Mm-hmm. It became a lot more, a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Kind of ease into it and then adjust. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you're just there really to enjoy, right? And have fun, hopefully. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And everyone survived. So that's, uh, that's good. Yeah. Nobody got lost for a long time. Um, but some stations, like we were, I was wandering around for so long in some stations, my God, specifically the Shinjuku station. We were wandering around just because you're taking we a lane or just, no, we were looking for something. Specific oh, you really we could not find it. Yeah. We were lost. <laughs> just straight up lost. I gotcha. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, yeah. Like I said, sorry, let's get into it. I know you shared me pictures, so I'm going to put them up here and you're just going to wow. kind of talk us through what, uh, what we're looking at. Um, and we'll see how well it works. It would have been nice if you could control this, but uh, oh well. Yeah. Hmm. So I got to do this in person. Did the uh, did the doggo want to partake as well? Yeah, it looks like. It's just like shooing him away. He's like, get out of here. <laughs> What'd you do with the with Mochi? Mochi. Throw her in the bed. Oh. Just chuck. No. Um, no, just cause she barks at anything that uh, walks around in the hallway if they're too Who's loud. walking? What is walking out there? There's like, it's you and it's only. I mean, uh, no, no, the, the outside hallway. Oh, like, yeah. She can he- oh, so she, she can hear uh, footsteps and yeah. stuff, or okay. Not always. Like some people are just louder than others. Okay, okay. Um, so she does get a little. She just wants dumb. the attention. I imagine. No, she wants to protect the. Apartment. Oh, protect, protect. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what is that? There's like that meme or something. She, yeah whatever okay we protect yeah so all right yeah. well let's switch this up here um and get you on the uh the nihongo uh, train here so uh, don't make me relive this i'm so sad to be back in la <laughs> uh, so what are we looking at this is the airport actually like there are a bunch of displays because um I assume this was because of the 2020 Olympics that got delayed. Mm-hmm. Um, but this airport had so many like displays for specifically Mario about Welcome to Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had a Mario, like a big ass life size Mario that had a like a, a carry on luggage kind of thing uh, with with Toad as well. Um, like this is just coming off the plane headed to headed to customs. Which airport is this? Um, this is Narita. Okay. The one further from Tokyo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it was just going down the escalator, coming off the plane to get to baggage claim, actually. Okay. So then you just see this. There's, and the, there's like four, we go down four floors. So this is in between every floor. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I can, That's really cool. I mean, it's not shown here in the picture because it's uh, kind of cropped in a certain way. But yeah, I can see like as you go down the stairs, there is, yeah, another set with more of the characters. Uh, these are Mario characters in this case. You got yeah. Rosalina, right? And oh, uh, wow. Daisy. And How do you know? The Koopa Troopas and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, s- I'm a mild so I'm a mild Mario um, mm-hmm. uh, consumer or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. I'm just I don't know. Then you have the little, you know, blob of thing, you know, the dot. The star. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Wow, it's a star. I don't know. <laughs> don't look at me I've not ever played this game I yeah Lou, Rosalina's game um well the other one here now we have this yeah so this, this was one uh, our first night it was the the hotel actually our first night this was at Mitsui Garden Hotels yes or Mitsui Gardens I guess hotel it, so uh, this is had, where you stayed sorry mm-hmm. and, okay yeah, Oli and I shared this room it was a Pom Pom Purin themed room yeah uh, Sanrio character for those mm-hmm. that don't know he's the little doggo that loves his mother's pudding most of all Yes, yes. I'm also somewhat familiar with Sanrio, uh, whatever. So yeah, I'm not. I, I wouldn't have known if Oli didn't tell me all that. Um, okay. But yeah, so it has a collab. That that little pouch thing over there is some free merch. It's some merch they give you for staying in the collab room. Okay. It has like pump pump and socks. Yeah. A hand towel, a tumbler, uh, some stickers, and a pin. I think. Nice. And uh, everyone who stays up. And in this room gets that uh, pom pom part as a bellboy as a plush. Is it uh? So is, is it free? You could take that home or 
Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you pay for the room. It's part of the price of the room, I guess. No, I mean, but, you yeah. can't. It's like I can't take the table or the the lamp or something, right? But yeah, but like some of these things you that take, you're saying, yeah, like everything in that pouch and the plush, you can take. Um, the convenient thing too, I didn't know this, but like every hotel we stayed at offered you pajamas. It was great. It was yeah, so that's convenient. what we see here, right? These gray, yeah, like sets here. Uh, yeah, there's just one size fits all kind of pajamas, but I don't care. If I knew that, it would have saved me some room in my packing. Yeah. But, but then you'd have to add it on when you take it back. Or are you going to take it back? I don't know. No, you, you take that? You, you, leave, you leave that. You See, leave that's what I'm saying. It's like, how do I know what to take or not? <laughs> you know, it's, it's on, it's on it's the wrapped, bed. Like, so you're saying everything in the plastic wrap you take. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get people really walking cool. off with like the pillows and whatever. I don't know. It's I mean, like, some people might, I'm sure, but oh God. what am I going to do? The pill? Why are you going to take pillows from a hotel? So remind me again. I, I should take a look. Um, remind me what this is. Uh, I don't even know what area this was. You were this is in uh, Tokyo. Uh, oh, this is Tokyo. Ginza. Yeah. This is Tokyo already. Okay. So you flew into Narita, but then you, you started off in to like staying in Tokyo. Yeah, we did one night in Tokyo because we landed and like it was like four o'clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so there was no way to get to where we to the Ryokan, which was where we we're going the next day. So Got we, it. Did, we, we did one night in Tokyo. OK, OK. Uh, yeah. Only really picked this one because she really wanted. She's like, no, it oh, looks great. Favorite yeah, no, Shen it's uh, so very. Uh, it's got that kawaii factor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, okay, let's let's take a look what else we got here. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, now we're talking my language here. Yeah, nah, food. That's what we're here for. This is actually one of the um breakfast offerings at the uh at that hotel. Nice. Um, you this is breakfast, you said. Breakfast. Yes. Yeah. We went to the cafeteria or whatever you want to call the restaurant at like it, they start at seven. Mm. Uh, and then it's until I think ten. Um yeah, so this is the, they have two options. You either have like a a bigger set of nine like smaller dishes, mm -hmm. um, or the random sushi. And I, I don't want to say random. This set of sushi, which is, I was definitely gonna do it because I don't know. I like sushi. Is sushi during breakfast different than sushi at other times of the day? I like, don't. What am know. I looking at here? You know what kind of I sushi? I honestly don't know what what. <laughs> You just, just see it, whatever in front of you, and then you just... Yeah, it didn't list it, now, okay? To be I fair, yes, like, I would probably just do the same. You just take whatever's in front of you and just, yeah. you know, it tastes good, and yeah, you just enjoy it, you know? But, yeah. Um, it's great. I've never seen green uh, salmon, or I guess not salmon, green fish eggs before. That's yeah. That's what that is. I can, yeah. I don't know what fish that's from. Aside from that, too, though, uh, they also had, like, a bar kind of thing for cereal, uh, teas, um, mm -hmm. pancakes, eggs, like an omelet bar. Yeah. Um, and I think there was something else that you could they could cook for you as well, not just pancakes. Uh, I think it was fish. Fish. Um, like, okay. like a to, to grill a fish if you wanted, but I'm not sure. Okay. That one. Okay. Because it was not in English, and I was too shy to ask. Right. Right. Um, this was like our first, this was right after the day after we landed. I'm like, I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how to, I don't know how to be, talk to people. Right. They're like silly Americans. I know about. Um, yeah, basically. All right. We got one more yeah, from so this that, set. Um, yeah. Huh. That, because we were on our way to Gunma, which is a Ryokan, like three, it's a three hour bus ride from Tokyo. Yeah. Um, so they had, we went to a rest stop and these are one of my favorite things. Like, this is one of the biggest things I remember from the first time I went, uh, went to Japan. Uh -huh. It was also winter, I guess. Ah. Um, they have hot soup in vending machines. That's cool. This specifically is corn soup. Yes, yes. It's so good. One of my uh, favorite things. So um, how is it heated up? How is it made I, uh, warm? I don't know. It's what just... Do you, what do you mean? It's like, I guess it's like... Because um, this these vending machines have both hot and cold stuff. So I guess it's just a hot box. That's in the, uh, like a specific section of the vending machine. That's a hot box because it's already hot when it comes out. That's crazy. Yeah, they they, they really are living in the future. <laughs> I know. I wish we had this here. I would get it a lot more often. And this was like like 110, 120 yen at most. Yeah, 
at 150 for the most expensive vending machines, which is basically a dollar. Okay. With the a dollar. Rate. Yeah, not yeah. bad. Not bad. Yeah. Um, Great. And, and what kind of taste of corn are we talking about? Is it like a sweet corn? Or are we talking about something more savory? I don't know. Like what? No, so like a sweet corn soup. Interesting. It was great. Fascinating. I got a lot of those while I was there. Yeah. Especially because yeah. it was so cold. Like, it was really cold. It was the dead ass winter. Um, and I always so, wanted, I didn't have gloves or anything. So I used those as hand warmers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm, I bet. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's utility. It's, it's got both. It's got utility as a hand warmer and utility as a tummy warmer. That's great. Um, so are you the one who would mostly partake of that or like the others kind of dig that as well? I mean, oh yeah. I mean, it wasn't just, not just the corn soup. There's like a red bean soup. That's good. They have mm-hmm. hot, they have milk teas that are also hot in, in the vending machines. People, well, people take it. At least our group was taking advantage of it because it's cold. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Yeah, um, it's great. So that was, uh, sets yeah just like general stuff like arriving yeah, and the, first the hotel like and the first two days yeah the first day and, and a half and those kinds of things are not uncommon i mean i'm talking about like the corn soup and you know those types oh, yeah those, those kind of machines are what everywhere. what seems to be kind of novel to us here in the states is uh commonplace you know it's like what other kinds of things do they have let's say in that machine you know, uh, could you... other hot things uh-huh. would be well, like a couple of, they have to be milk teas. They have some lemonade, like a, I guess more like a ginger lemonade thing. If you have a sore throat, mm-hmm. um, they also have like for the cold stuff, they have so much different stuff. water, uh, sodas, what else? Juices, um, cold milk teas, just straight up milk, yogurt yeah. drinks. Oh, wow. Um, some vending machines. Well, you don't see these too often, but there were, uh, Cigarette vending machines that we mm-hmm. saw, mm-hmm. Uh, very few. But and then there's alcohol vending machines as well. Huh. That's that's so. so with the alcohol, just curious, like is that something you can carry in the open and like partake? I don't know about in public. So, I don't I don't know the rules, but I think mm-hmm. you can. Oh, okay, all right, we'll have to because um, like there are nights where we saw people just drinking mm-hmm. on the street. So I'm pretty sure it's fine in Japan. So. If you, if, if our viewers or listeners know any of the questions or answers, have, have answers to any of the questions that we have, please, please email us at, um, hi at dumb and hungry dot com. Um, so we can figure out what, what's going on. Um, because you know, we need to know. Screw the rules. I don't know them. Okay. Um, let's move on. It looks like we have another, the second set here. And so we'll start off with this. So yeah. tell us like what this set of picks are from and like, yeah, what yeah. we're starting off with. So this, this was the Ryokan that we went to. So that, which is uh, like hot springs, uh, um, spring. Okay. Yeah. So before we checked in, uh, cause it, we got there a little early, maybe like an hour or two before we could check in. Yeah. Um, they have a restaurant attached to it and that's what this is. It's got udon there, but then also that egg is a soft boiled, or maybe it's a, a poached egg uh, that they supposedly cook in the hot spring water. Interesting. Maybe not in the actual oh, hot really? springs that we use, but mm. another source of the, the hot spring, yeah. Okay. And what is so the name cool. of the area that this is in? Like uh, This is Gunma. Good. Gunma. G-U-N-M-A. Okay. Good my prefecture at the Seki Zenkan uh Ryokan. Right. Is that the name yes. of the the place? Yeah, of, Seki of the, Zenkan. Uh, okay. Of the establishment, yeah. The establishment, yes. Okay. Yeah. That's... And they have like a and that's that sandwich basically like a shrimp po' boy, honestly. Ah, very good. Very good. It's great though. Like the the mayo and, or whatever dressing that is good. And remind me the beverage there? That's milk. Great. It's just straight up milk, which is supposedly <laughs> different in Japan. Okay. <laughs> which it kind of is. Like it has a completely different taste. Um, yeah. Because it's not pasteurized, if I remember mm. correctly. Okay. That's really okay. just an American thing, honestly. Yeah, of course. Um, that's fine. And so yeah. what do we have here? This would be part of our hotel room. I just wanted to highlight this kotatsu because Oli's been wanting one forever. Uh, it's basically a table blanket then a heater affixed under the table so mm-hmm. it's like a heated table under there 
Oh Very yes, nice yes. I um, I don't remember. I remember seeing some, just like maybe a couple videos randomly on tip TikTok. Uh, uh, they they buy a table that's like that functions like this, right? It's like a short height mm-hmm. table yeah. that uh, has a heating element or something. So you like under yeah. So you sit yeah. under the table. To be fair, I was always saying no to getting one because what, it's it's LA. It never gets that cold. Right. But it was so comfy. Yeah. Under there. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's nice to have like. See, those are blankets or something. Yeah, basically a comforter. And it was just so comfy. We fell asleep. Mm. Uh, we took a nap just sitting on those little, those, those chair things. Yeah. That's, um, uh, that's pretty good. So is that where you would eat? Um, no. no. Well, I guess we could, but it's more like, because we, there's an actual restaurant. Uh, okay. Another restaurant that they had. So you just sit um, here for what? To chill or? I mean, just to I hang know. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like if everyone else was coming over, you, there's a table to do stuff with. Okay. Um, and it's comfy. But nice. before we get to the next one, I do need to mention this Ryokan has like three levels of service, I guess. Because um, Ariel and Salem, they did the, the cheapest option, so they got the oldest building. Um, which was funny because they got a lot less services than we did. Because for mm-hmm. us, we got mm-hmm. the second option, mm-hmm. um, which was a, an extra about 100 bucks more. Uh, when we were checking in, we got cake. And tea served to us. Eek-y. They took our, yeah, they took our luggage um, to our rooms. Uh, we had a bathroom in our in our room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, bathrooms are important, right? I mean, that's a yeah. pretty important thing to have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and our our meals were completely different. Okay, um, that's the, that another big one because, like, what is it called? Salem and Ariel in their room, they had. A separate bathroom, like a, a shared bathroom, they had to they had okay. to go okay. to like a normal. Yeah, yeah so sure. It's not too bad. So you have different tiers of like you know these levels of service and amenities and stuff. Apparently, and there's a third tier that we uh-huh. didn't think of, but we didn't do. But uh-huh. next time we go, I want to. Okay. Because I'm curious how big the difference would be. You're not sure what like uh, what they throw in there, what's included. Yeah, I don't know because none of us knew that it was going to be such a big difference. Just by with, between sales with your tiers, yeah, right, yeah, right. So exactly. how much more if you just, yeah, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm so curious because like our meal, we had um, a kaiseki, mm-hmm. which was is basically like a multi course meal kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah, but with Ariel and Salem, they had to do um, it was more like a cafeteria style. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So I'm just so curious how big the difference is for the next one, which is only about 50 bucks more. Hmm. Okay. So. Well, um, that's for the next trip, right? So. Oh yeah, I need to know. I'm so curious. <laughs> so curious. Well, if anyone has tried the top tier at uh, what is the place called? Seki Zenkan. At that place, please let us know. Email us at hi dumb and hungry. Um. Okay. Let's uh let's get this next one going. What do we have? Um. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a scene. I mean, yeah, that was just the next day, like that. We were walking around, um, just it was snowing. I mean, this is uh, this is February, right? Um, yeah, when you were there, so third, no, it would be the that's the Sunday, so the the fourth, I think that was, yeah, yeah, so early, early February. Um, yeah, it was just it was because when we came up. It wasn't snowing. It was sunny. Yeah. Uh, it, looked, it was cold, and then mm-hmm. it looked like it snowed a few days prior because mm-hmm, there was mm-hmm. still like a bit of patches up uh, on the ground. But then here, so, straight up, flurry. yeah. Weather wise, what are we looking at? Uh, I don't know. Temperature wise, what 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 is that looking? Honestly, like? I did. I don't know. Cold? It was like minus two, maybe of Celsius, because my phone automatically switches Celsius. <laughs> so I was like, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Plus wind chill, because it was windy too. So this is looking outside from. Yeah. No, uh, this is we're we were already walking around. Oh. Because we okay. uh, yeah, just for the day, because we had to check out by eleven or whatever, and we had a couple hours to kill before the bus came to take us back. Got it, man. Uh, similar view here. I mean, just yeah, this is like right in front of the right in front of the the hotel. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, like, this is it's stuff crazy. that you'd see, I don't know, um, on a magazine Not or something. LA. Or, like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, crazy. A lot of people's first time. Well, it was my first time, like, an actual snowfall. 
Um, so I am curious so. for, you know, uh, being from LA and we're basically unprepared for any inclement weather, honestly. So yeah, rain scares us. Hi. Yeah. How, how do you dress? How did you dress? I uh, was unprepared. Really? Cause I was originally going to buy a jacket there, but we didn't yeah. have time. So I just had like a windbreaker and pants. Oh man. I guess we'll see. Fine. I guess we'll take a preview of how well you were yeah. prepared, but um, it wasn't I mean, so bad here. I guess because mm-hmm. with the sun out and there, it wasn't as windy because mm-hmm. um, later in the night uh, it got way way colder oh, uh, when we were back in Tokyo. It was way windier. It was bad. Now, was this the type of weather that you would come across throughout your stay or is it just like really, you know, localized to, to this area? Where no, you not just that area. It was also in Tokyo, like not this bad, though, but okay. it was like that just that day, the day after. Um, so. Which we were excited for. We wanted to hit snow. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I was supposed to buy a jacket before this, and I did not. Oh. Well, there you go. Did it's okay. You, There's no balls of people. It did it prompt it. you to to get something um, after the fact, or like while you were there, or you just dealt with it? I mean, yeah. Just... yeah, I did buy a jacket after when I was there. Okay. Uh, I was able to find one that's very sorted out online. Yes. Okay. Very good. Um yeah. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's a nice view. I mean, yeah, super yeah. cold. I'd probably die. No, I get it. Totally. Yeah, totally. I almost did. It was actually pretty funny. A couple of people fell. Because um, uh, in the Japanese news at some point, they were telling, I didn't understand a word of it, but there were pictures. Um, mm. one, of the, one of the things was like, it had a penguin. Yeah. And it's showing them just doing short steps. So that was like one oh. of the recommendations to just take okay. really short steps. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a way to get be ready there um yeah nice uh let's take a look what do we have oh man Should be we have food a, pictures yeah we have more food not there but yeah, this this but this was the area where you were yes. um where you're staying um which again in the gunma prefecture, prefecture. man yeah. just this is kind of interesting it's kind of fun to say that in the prefecture yeah, um, it's not county or <laughs> yeah um and that's you know you take a look at how you know the distance of where it was from tokyo remind me how yeah. you, you travel there it's a train or i forget we took a bus it was like a it's a bus basically like a greyhound i guess if you will like our uh, equivalent uh, but it was nice you know very okay. friendly bus driver we had a rest stop that we mm-hmm. went to as well um okay man there's gonna be a story on the way back too okay it was bad all right it well bad. let's share about this first yeah, so this is actually the night before. Mm-hmm. The reason it's out of order is because I forgot my phone in our other friend's room, in Salem's room, when we went to dinner. So I took this off Oli's phone and sent okay. it to myself. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like a Wagyu roast beef thing. It was delicious. Wagyu It was my favorite thing from the Kaiseki. Wow, Wagyu. I mean, that's that's the stuff you dream about, right? Like, that's the stuff you keep t- people keep telling about. Oh, it's Wagyu. It's like the fancy meat from japan yeah. or whatever you know the now in, in this case i don't know i i wish we could get more details of it i don't know how much, you know um the uh the, the level of quality of the wagyu uh was that it was shared meat butter okay <laughs> that's <laughs> that, all you need to know that basically sums it up do they is this the to the extent where they actually show you the uh i mean they you could request right like uh to show the the proof of its authenticity I don't know if you know that, like you you can, you can ask, uh, uh, the certificate of whatever, of like where it comes from and like, you know, where they source it from. I think so. Um, I know in their like paper in their pamphlets or whatever. Uh Um, yeah, I think on the menu too, it said that it's from Gunma prefecture. So it's their local, local house. All right. I mean, shoot. I mean, just to, I don't know. It could be a scam. I did, they just say it's, you know, it's for the Americans. I mean, they, yeah, they'll just I can't believe it. Um, but I can see the, uh, the menu maybe or whatever literature is in, uh, you know, Japanese. So, um, yeah. perhaps it is a little more authentic. So, um, but I mean, so, um, this alone, you know, you have this plate. Is that enough mm-hmm. to, uh, to fill you up no of course not oh <laughs> this was a nine course meal so was it really oh okay yeah. okay yeah yeah as it went 
yes it did it yes. was enough definitely. got it got it okay so okay now i got the context that's great that's great yeah. um but uh really would you so. say this was a highlight of that of those courses yes okay that's that's part of the reason that's one of the only pictures that i have of that because <laughs> that was definitely one of the best things it's definitely the one that said that tell, told you hey oh give, give me that phone and then you just take a picture and then uh, yeah basically it's amazing uh looks like we have another yeah. dish here is this from the same this um, is from the same meal okay. um that same kaiseki it's something i don't remember what they did with the oyster um but it's a mousse that they did with the oyster um and then on the right looks like it's a seared uh fish yes of some kind yes definitely fish it? is it yellowtail no i think it was a mackerel i don't remember okay but the the, uh, the reason this picture is here is because on that like little fruit thing that little pink section yes, it's like a yes. sliver of whale meat is it really yeah what part of the whale it's supposedly oh, oh. Oh, a tiny speck of said whale. Okay. And so how do you, um, how do you eat that? Do you eat that on its own? Do you eat, cause it's yeah. on the, on the slice of, uh, you know, that fruit, right? Yeah. So, uh, how, you eat it on its own. Okay. Do you eat it with this, the fruit or? I don't you can, know. you can like spritz the fruit on it, but. Okay. It's like a citrus eat. fruit. What we're talking yeah. about? Okay. Kind of like a bigger calamansi, honestly. Okay. Okay. So is uh, that. Is that whale more of, is it a meat thing or is it like a fat thing? It's a meat thing because it was very, it was pretty rubbery. Yeah. It wasn't good. Oh. I mean, it was okay. I didn't like it, but uh, it wasn't bad, I suppose. Oh, okay. All right. It's just there because it's whale. Meat. It's just, no, yeah, notably whale. Is that even yeah. legal? I don't even know. What's legal? It probably I is. Okay. <laughs> they would have served otherwise, right? I don't know, you know? Um... <laughs> Great. And so could you give me an so idea? Uh huh. Because we saw it on the menu that it was coming. Yeah. Right. We were so excited for whale meat. We didn't realize it would just be like maybe uh, just a, a small square okay. inch. Yeah, yeah. Right. From an animal that is uh, completely humongous, you get this yeah. small part of it. You know, it seems like a total. That's a scam. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. It's a, I'm sure they can't have, they can't serve too much of it. Could you uh, give me an idea of the price? of of the meal no idea it was what? part of the room oh i see got it yeah it's included got it got it yeah. okay yeah. so i, I don't know nice. it was about 200 dollars per person per for one night right so. for that in that tier so that's what you get mm -hmm. for that tier um yeah well me <laughs> it's important uh good to know good to know um looks like we've got one other one here and i yes. think this is what i was alluding to to uh how you fared. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, notably, uh, I forgot to mention, I guess this, this Ryokan is actually one of the inspirations for the Ryokan and Spirited Away. Is that right? That's, uh, yeah. So this bridge is one of them, but also the, they have a, one of the baths, they have three different baths in mm -hmm. this place. Yeah. One of the, one of them is the one that they do that they used for inspiration for Spirited Away. Wow. That's uh, that's great, and there you are, just um, towering in the cold. Yes, <laughs> you just like bad. crouch down, uh, hood, you know, head on, head, head and hands. Right, yeah, I was right. a fool. Just like bracing himself for uh, for winter, you know. Yeah, just kill me now. <laughs> but I will say it was, it wasn't too bad here yet. I didn't know how much worse it would be. Is that right? Gosh. Yeah, when the sun went down, it was over. Because part of it, um, I don't, yeah, didn't really take any pictures of this, but mm -hmm. so we were on the way back to Tokyo. We were supposed to head back, right? That day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Normally, that's, it was like a three-hour bus ride to get to get there. On the way back, because there were so many road closures into Tokyo, they basically closed all, all the, the highways. Road. Wow. We had to take side streets or whatever. It took like eight, eight and a half hours to get back to Tokyo. Really? Wow. Yeah. It was real bad. I'm sorry. What's the typical... Uh... Travel time? Uh, I think it's like three because that's how hours. That's how long it took us to get there. So I, I feel like that's um, like a Vegas trip gone wrong, right? It's like uh, yeah, uh, should have taken a flight back so I can go to work. Is <laughs> so you can take a flight back so you can get halfway that's and good. then uh, take a yes, rental car the rest of the way. Yeah. That's what it was. Yes, yes. If you know, you know. 
Um, okay. <laughs> but eight hours. Uh, so did that really throw off any of, uh, you know, the rest of the plans that you had had for? Luckily, no, because we did have a day in between because we were, because the next day we were going to Kyoto. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a good thing we put an extra day in between just of nothing planned. Right. Because we were going to explore the city, right? But yeah. that was the real plan. Just wander around Tokyo um, in the Ginza area because that's where the bus would take us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But by the time we got back, it was like 11 p.m. Wow. So, okay. Yeah. A long day. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, on a bus. Yeah. We what kind of, what kind of bus are we talking about? Like, is it like a Greyhound style bus or is it like a... It's a little nicer. Like the softer seats. Um, okay. They have... Uh, they have a toilet in the back, which is very convenient. Was very convenient for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was okay, I guess. I, not something I want to be in for eight hours, but hey, it's a story. It makes for like, a good story. Yeah, uh, I finished. All, I finished my book because I brought a book to read. Uh, really? I didn't really fall asleep on the plane. Honestly, I mm-hmm. guess I can't sleep on planes. I don't know. Got it. Read it on the plane. Mm-hmm. Read it on the bus. Finished it then. That's great. So it's like, yeah. But no, I'm supposed to read on the way back too, on the way on the plane back. Oh, so now you got no, got yeah. no material to to use. I mean, basically, man. Yeah. But whatever. It was it was nice though. Like they were we did three rest stops. I think um, the guy the guy was asking me questions in Jap. The bus driver was asking me mm-hmm. questions in Japanese when we were at the last rest stop, and I wasn't entirely sure what he was saying at the time. But I'm pretty sure he was telling us that it was the last rest stop for who knows how long. Um, and okay. asked us if it's okay. So, cause we, I didn't get off the bus at that last one. Cause mm-hmm. I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah. So he wanted to make sure everyone knew that more stops. Okay. And yeah. I didn't get it. I was like, okay. Hopefully that didn't, you know, yeah, he was fine. Again. Okay. Yeah. He, he was whatever about it. Okay. And so, uh, remind me how long you, you stayed in that, at that place. The real con? Uh, huh. it was just the one night, just the one night. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to see what Ryokans were about, and it was nice. I would go back. It was very relaxing. Yeah. The hot springs were great. I've never been in a hot spring before, so that was really cool. I mean, um, that, that's they, like an outdoor thing. Uh, they have an indoor out. Like they have one, like a bath that's all indoors. That's like the one in Spirited Away, where mm-hmm. it's just a bunch of smaller pools or whatever. Yeah. And then they had us the the second one where if you actually wanted to clean yourself. Um, where they had like shampoo and stuff. That one was the main one, and they have like an indoor outdoor section, which is cool. Okay. Um, then they had a second, another bath that was under renovation, so we didn't we didn't know what that one was. Huh. Okay. Maybe but, that's for yeah. uh, the third tier. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It was close to everybody. <laughs> okay. Actual under renovation. I mean, that's spot. what you think, but okay. True. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't pay enough. Um. But it was interesting because I've never been in a public bath before. Mm. I'm just glad it was pretty empty because it's the whole being naked with other people around thing. Right. Right. Not something I have ever done before in my life until then. Well, we need to go to like Wii Spa or something. No, 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 no. You don't go to Wii Spa anymore. <laughs> I heard it was, they went downhill since Conan. Oh, I thought it would just bring two. it up. I thought it would just uh, skyrocket. Uh, now I got too mainstream. Ah, too mainstream. Okay. All right. That's what I heard. Okay. Well, glad you enjoyed there and that you did not freeze and that uh, the bus didn't break down. I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, honestly, that's great. That's um, good. There were a couple of close calls, actually, um, on that bus. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think I slept through one of them, at least. Okay. All right. Good. But so from... So it was 11... Mm-hmm p.m. ish so we had to go straight to the next hotel oh uh-huh. uh, that walk was killer i was i was shivering like crazy you walk from I, one hotel to the other well no from the, the tokyo station that's where the bus dropped us off okay um and then our hotel was maybe about a 20 minute walk uh 15 minute walk from the station okay which wouldn't have been bad if it wasn't for the weather yeah yeah you said you got like super yeah, cold the, the snow was piling up yeah. So dragging the luggages was a little rough and it was windy. Okay. But so, so how did the rest of the you know the other guys fare um with that? I think other people did okay. Like other people had thicker clothes, extra more layers, I guess. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so it was fine. Yeah, thicker jackets. Uh, 
I was the only one with just a thinner jacket. I don't know how Ariel and Salem went, fared because they were at a different hotel from us that mm-hmm. night. Okay. I don't know. We walked okay. a different direction. Wait, you guys, you guys stayed at different hotels? Yeah. Because uh, of different tiers or something? I mean... I guess. I don't know. That's probably a cheap uh, price, price point or something. Who knows? Okay. Very cool. Yeah, but uh, Oliver, uh, Oli's brother, and uh-huh. Nina. Nina were with us at, at the other hotel, the closer gotcha. one. The, the oh, one that okay. we went to. Okay. So yeah, they were fine. She and Nina brought hella layers. Oh, okay. Got it. Well prepared. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so where does this bring us now? So that brings us to Kyoto. We're the next Kyoto. morning. We were on our way to Kyoto. Kyoto, and let's see. Remind me where Kyoto is. Uh, Further west. West. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like halfway uh, across the damn, all damn right. country. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have um, a very comforting, familiar view, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, yes this is already when we got into kyoto after the ryokan or after the shinkansen sorry um oh i didn't take a picture i just realized of the shinkansen bento that oli got me mm, what a shame which is really cool like uh there are a bunch at the shinkansen platforms in mm-hmm. stations they have a lot more uh they have bentos and stuff which is cool like to just because most shinkansen rides are going to be long so they they offer that if you want to eat on the train. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, there's also, I forgot to take, a, I didn't send that picture. Um, there was a, a, like a promotional event going on with the Shinkansen and Capcom, the video yeah. game mm-hmm. developers. Yeah. Yeah. Where you do a quiz like on the Shinkansen. Uh, and if you get to a certain tier of correct answers, you can get prizes. Okay. Only for residents though. So mm. I mean, I did it just because it's interesting. Like, but it gauges your speed. Like, you have to be going at the top speed on the Shinkansen to even be able to take the quiz. Um, and it was all in Japanese, so translation was a little rough. But yeah, it's a cool thing. I didn't know that they, they do like collabs like that. See, that's what we're missing out. Yeah, we need more cool stuff. <laughs> okay, but so this is uh at in Kyoto after we'd already been back to, or after we've checked in, we were yes. wandering around the hotel, seeing what was around. And uh, this place caught a lot of people's attention, a lot of our, our friends' attention. Burger Revolution. It would, I, I can see why. Yeah, I don't remember what this is. I mean, it's a burger. It has, yeah, it's the Matsusaka beef, I guess, which is a little more. But they had two different beef options, one being like 2,000 yen more. Mm. Um. I don't remember what it is, but Oli got that one. So one that's hers. Them. It's not even okay. No, this one's mine. Oli got the more expensive one because uh, she wanted to try it. Okay, but I don't remember what that kind of beef was. All right. Well, what can you tell Probably us about? Like, related. but you're not sure what's on this burger. I it's... don't remember. Okay, but what what was your impression of it? It was good. I think it had cream cheese. <laughs> Well, there you go. I think, that, I think I mean, that's what sold me on it. How can you go wrong? Yeah. It's like the equivalent of like whenever we get sushi, just try to find a Philly roll or something. You know, yeah, and exactly. Scoop cheese in there. It's like, boom, sold. Um, that's all I need to be convinced that I like it. <laughs> I don't even have to taste it yet. Yeah. Is this a, you know, is it a large, is it a, a big spot, you know, large spot? Or like, what are we talking about here? No, it's like a hole in the wall kind of thing. It only had like maybe seating for 20 at most mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um actually less than that because the six of us took about half of the restaurant so okay. there's a small spot that we just oh, wow. randomly found and it wasn't that random actually the hotel had like a, a guide for the area i guess if you will on mm-hmm. the uh, and this was one of the spots they highlighted so we there, go ahead, oh, let's try okay. burgers all right well it was it worth the visit to put it that way oh yeah it was good okay i liked it and they had onion rings. I always get onion rings. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. It was very not beer battered. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. It looks kind of a lighter fry. Yeah. Kind of, much lighter so. fry. Okay. Nice. More tempura y. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Good. That's uh, so it's yeah. called Burger Revolution. That was yeah. the name of this one. Okay. Um, yeah. We have here now uh, this little guy. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. Apparently, like, a 20-minute walk from our hotel is, like, a giant, like, sh- shopping area of Kyoto, I guess, mm-hmm. where the Pokemon the Pokemon Center was. So we just we were just walking, wandering around, um, and we passed by the Pokemon Center. There was no line to get in, so we were like, all right, let's go. Mm. And uh, it was nice. This was... This got a lot of people like um to spend. A lot of people spent a lot here. Like money. Even though we weren't supposed to yeah. We weren't supposed to buy too much because it would be harder to travel back to Tokyo. So but, what kind of things are we buying here? Uh well only bought like uh if you watch Pokemon Concierge, um, yes, I did. They had a bunch of a bunch of that merch. They had like stickers, hand towels, the t shirt, uh. um, a mug, the bell sprout lamp the um amazing the sea the horsey watering can that yeah. which only picked up oh man um yeah yeah i they enjoy that plushies uh-huh. uh pokemon concierge yeah it was very cute it was very cute uh for those on not in the know what is it it's uh it's like this stop uh not animation yeah. yeah um and it's not uh, uh it's not canon right we won't really consider it canon but doesn't even revolve around like any of the main characters it's just no no it's, it's whole other you know it's just a thing about a pokemon resort basically yeah a resort yeah. for the pokemon and this lady who works there mm-hmm. who exactly quit her other job in order to work there because she was too stressed or whatever then she got fired but okay yeah. was that was it fired i don't remember I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. um yeah it's very cute very relaxing oh very nice uh yeah i yeah, by the way, I would like more of those episodes. So there's a season two, isn't there? I like announced. Already. Oh, did they? Uh, okay. I, I thought know. so. I could well, be wrong. Well, they need to email us your if you know. Email us iDubbinHunger.com if you know if they're gonna start <laughs> season two. Okay. Um, next one we got up here. Yeah. So this is the next day. Uh, we went early in the morning to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. Uh, Because it's one of the big tourist attractions here in Kyoto. A lot of people head over here. Mm -hmm. Um, So we went earlier in the morning. So this is like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning maybe. And there's still already this this many people here. But it's pretty cool. Just walk through the bamboo, all this stuff around. Is it free admission? I mean, just going to walk? Yeah. Um, Well, there's two ways to get there. The faster way is going through like one of I forgot the name of the temple the big temple that's on the way there mm-hmm. um if you go through their garden which is a 500 500 yen fee um mm. which on its own it's like it was nice to which is the way we went it, it had like some cool stuff in their garden as well uh and then it, the exit from that place just pops you out right at the entrance of the bamboo forest interesting I have another view of that right here uh, yeah another section of it it's just so much so much uh, bamboo these wires that are hanging across those just like what are those the electricity wires okay <laughs> yeah power, power lines yes. electricity over there. <laughs> yes the temp- yeah very advanced um okay oh yeah electricity it's a it's a thing that's very new here how how you have an idea of like how large this forest thing is it wasn't too big honestly but we didn't walk all of it i think there might have been a section that we missed but it was like mm-hmm. a 15 20 minute walk to from one end to the other okay, okay. um but it, it actually pops you out at a lot of like street food stalls which is mm-hmm. cool yeah. um like or i guess that would be the other entrance if we walked or the long way around yeah uh would have been would have taken us through that way but we came out like right at 11 15 noonish i don't know so it was good lunch times they had like shumai on a stick they had a lot of squid like you know the the things on sticks basically they had the candied fruit oh yes yes yeah okay uh, and there was a um a peanuts cafe there hmm. okay um was this one of the other places or one of yeah the other not things? too not too far from where that was maybe like Five, six stores down uh was the the rilakuma cafe mm-hmm. um they had obviously it, it's a, it's like a takeaway kind of cafe it's not a sit down place but um it's just rilakuma themed they have some cool stuff like merch to buy exclusive stuff um, but this is also something there it's like milk flavored soft serve with mont blanc on top mm. and like a little cookie thing but 
it's really cool. You said this is theme stuff. This is like uh that it's more of soft serve than like ice yeah. cream. Okay. Yeah. Works for me. And how much yeah, does that go only... for? That was maybe like nine hundred yen, if I remember correctly. So what is that? Like I don't even know I you know the exchange. Four bucks. Right okay. No, sorry. Six bucks. Okay. I'm... Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Um Cause, All right. Yeah, because I think right now the exchange rate is around 150. Or when we went, it was like 143 or whatever. But as we were there, the exchange rate actually became more favorable. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So 150 is about the baseline now because it used to be like six years ago, 100 was the baseline. Um, where the easiest way to estimate how much that would be in dollars is just move the the decimal point to two places. Yeah. Uh, but now it's 150 is a bit easier, uh, another easy baseline to do because it's just. 1.5 right mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. okay yeah uh this here is actually the next day we went to kiyomezadera temple it's one of the big temples in the area uh featured in a lot of i was excited for this one featured in yeah. a lot of like anime and stuff oh okay um, yeah it's like a lot of school trips happen here or whatever like for sports clubs they, they go here for good luck and they have this like like uh, there's a big old balcony that's really famous or whatever for for I guess it's views. So this is the entrance to the to that temple. So remind me, this is a what is the difference between a temple and a shrine? Um, a temple is the big ass area where there would be a shrine. Like a shrine is a smaller thing. Oh. Where like for here, Kiyo Mizudera, Mizudera Temple has its own shrine inside of it. Where you know where they ring the bell, they offer their prayers. Yeah. Um, that's uh and they do the offerings that's where that's the shrine itself ah. and the temple is what houses the shrine good to know good to know i i, I bet wrong, that most know. <laughs> if my deal is wrong please email us at hi dot com um and give us your thoughts on temples versus shrines um okay so yeah so it sounded like this was like a night this was a cool like familiar scene irl you know um Kind of, yeah. Because, like, I've never been to Kyoto, <laughs> ever. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you're saying this this, like, this specifically, like, would have been featured in, like, various anime or, you know. Yeah, a lot of know. Japanese culture, or pop culture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because um, uh, on the way here, it's the, there's, like, there's a place, uh, I guess it's called Ninenzaka and Sanenzaka, mm -hmm. which is basically 2nd Street and 3rd third, third Street-ish. Um, but it's where like that Starbucks is that's uh, has to be the architecture has to be match Kyoto's uh, older style. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. So that's that was the big draw there. And there's just a bunch of stores. It's, it's pretty cool. They have a lot of like, it's just, I don't know. There were a bunch of people that were trying to sell you stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a lady who there's a soap store where the people were just foaming their soap endlessly. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I don't right. know. It was kind of cool. I was yeah. kind of curious, but, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, because this is the day uh, Oli and I actually rented kimonos. Um, oh, for this day! Wow. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah. So this is just a view so, here of looking from yeah from inside the temple. Uh, inside on the, temple. the right side, there is actually the balcony where. The, the famous balcony that was re renovated a few years back. Okay. Okay. Um, the one that's like featured that as the landmark of the temple, I guess, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which honestly, when I was there, it was nice. It was big. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> honestly, I thought like, it. I don't know. My wee best just, just, it looked bigger in the, in, in the manga and the anime. I don't know. Right. But it was still nice. Like all the, it's also slanted down at the end, so Oli was a little freaked out to go to all the way to the, like the rail where the railing was. I see. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh man, that's pretty good. But yeah, it was really cool though. It's still I, like to be fair, we also went in winter when everything's like dead. Mm -hmm. But imagining seeing that in the spring or the fall when everything's yeah. blo uh, when there are hella leaves on those trees, probably mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, just relive that um, 
that whatever moment in in the insert anime here, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slice of life, man. They're very important. Slice of life, exactly. Speaking of uh, kimono, it looks like we have something. Yeah, this is one of them. Just walking around uh, the area surrounding Kiyomi's Dera. That's me and a kimono. So you said you rented kimonos. That's something yeah. they do? They just do yeah. that? It was like 5000 For the guys, it's cheaper. Because um, for the girls, they have ex- more accessories. But, and also, they do your hair. Um, so it's mm. a little more expensive for, for women. Okay. But it was about, I think my part was 5,000 yen. Wow. So you've got this, you've got your, you know, your get up here. Um, what mm. about the rest of them? Do they also rent kimonos? They just don't. No, no it's just me only. Okay. But um, the others are with you. Get- it's, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm not hearing from like the others in the group. It's just like, they're just there or. They're just, yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, okay. actually Nina did it as well. I forgot. Like she didn't know that we were doing it, but mm-hmm. or maybe she did and wasn't, was still on the fence. But on the day of, she was able to rent as well because we yeah. did a reservation ahead of time. Yeah. But if they have any available, they will still do it. Okay. Of, which is nice. Okay. Um, it was cold though. Yeah, cold. I could tell. Yeah, you're bracing yourself. It's uh, it's pretty cold. Yeah, I actually made a mistake because I should have gone a size up because it was a little short on the legs. Because mm-hmm. um, it said like I was bare, I was at like the threshold for that height, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize when they put it on you, it would pull the collar back and stuff to make it a little higher. Um, so I should have gotten the the taller one. Wow. Um, also, also. There were a couple guys there that were smart and had like undershirts and stuff and tights under yeah. theirs. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, didn't th- I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> just go command. You just go command. Okay, that's just, nice yeah. See that's the feel the breeze. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think the rules said you had to be wearing underwear. Oh, I see. There are rules now. Okay, probably. I know uh, the one of them was if there is a stain that they uh-huh. cannot remove. Oh boy, you have you have to pay extra. I see. When I wonder, you know, how much extra? Now you're paying extra to what? To get it cleaned or to keep it? <laughs> no, that, uh, no, you still got to return it. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. the 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 fee to incinerate it, I guess. Maybe depending yeah. on the size of the stain. <laughs> um, but it was it was really cool. It, it did take a while. Like for the guys, it wasn't too bad, but I guess the girls take longer to get ready, which is fair. And mm-hmm. I guess they have more. Um, so I was ready, but I was waiting for Oli for like an hour. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Which is fine. It was still cool. And uh, how long do you um, get to use this? You know, all day. Uh, well, I say all day, but they open at nine, I think, mm-hmm. maybe ten. Yeah. And then uh, you have to return it by five thirty. Okay. All right. So you could about eight hours at most if you want to. Right. If you want to push it. So how was it? Like you know, walking around and. You know, it was cool. Uh, I realized I was fat. Uh, I mean, I knew that already, but because uh, watching the, them dress the other guys in front of me, some of these some of these Japanese folk were sticks. Yeah, like a breeze would just I could blow on them and they would fall. Exactly. It's I mean, crazy. look, like one, let me just say that. I mean, you you were once as well. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> Definitely not like that. I know. I used to be 120. Yeah. That dude was my height and looked like he was 90 pounds. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Okay. But also, it could be an outlier not for that guy. But mm-hmm. the other, like, yeah, either way, like, they were much skinnier. And I felt so bad for the lady who had to dress me. She just had to deal with my fatness. <laughs> she had to take, like, larger, like, more steps around or whatever. Like, yeah, to praise herself, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because uh, like you're... one of the kids who was walking, like he could, they made it. They were able to make it so tight. He had to do the penguin step thing. Like he could oh, only see. take yeah. tiny, tiny steps. Yeah, that's yeah. how skinny he was. Oh man, they could tighten it around him that many times. And then uh, walking around in the uh, what is the name for like the footwear? You know, I think those are just regular sandals. Because <laughs> Geta are different. Those are the tall yes. ones. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Which they didn't offer. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they don't want anyone dying. No, no, of course. These foreigners um, who don't know how to walk. So, so did you feel you were able to move around? Okay. Um, oh yeah, I was fine. They couldn't tighten it that much. Hell no. <laughs> That's how I knew I was. I was fat. It's only so much elastic or whatever they could. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was fun though. I would do it again. It's nice walking around like in a, in the kimonos. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. So is that something that, you know, people should try? Um, oh yeah. I mean, it's not just there. A lot of places in like, even in that section alone, there were like four or five different kimono rental spots. We walked past mm-hmm. just to get to the temple. Um, and even the day prior in Arashiyama, there's a bunch of places that were offering, excuse me, that were offering kimono rentals. And even in our, I guess in a lot of temple areas, Mm because where we were staying in Tokyo the following afterwards, there were kimono rental places as well, because we were near that big temple in Asakusa. So are these kimono rentals, uh, common in these temple areas? I think so. I think so. Like at least for sure in Kyoto, there are so many that we passed by. Um, Interesting. And we see a lot, they're all really busy. Like I'll use, at, we saw a lot of people walking around in kimonos, mm-hmm. which is really mm-hmm. cool. Good. So uh, you spent, what well, you spent a day there, right? Um, and, at the temple. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then how, what about the area of like Kyoto in general? Like what do you mean? How long? Oh, how long were we in Kyoto? I think four days. Hold on, let me check. Wow. Might have been three and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, Kyoto, we did two and a half. Hour. Sorry, it was two days in Kyoto. Okay. So it wasn't two full days. It was definitely need to go again because there was another temple we didn't get to visit that I wanted to visit. It was mm-hmm. the one that has like a million Tory gate, a thousand Tory gates. Um, those red gates that uh, yes. you go through when you yes, go to the Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that that's one we didn't get the to. The very visit. Instagrammable, uh, you know. Yeah, scene definitely. There. Yeah. What do they call it again? The Tori Gate? It's Tori Gates. Okay. Yeah. That temple specifically is Arashi, uh, not Arashiyama. It's Inari Fushimi, I think. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get to visit that one, sadly. Um, okay. But next time. Exactly. Hey everyone, Angelo here. We're off to a strong and tasty start. Don't worry, there'll be more to come with My Chow in Japan. But for now, we've come to the end of another episode. Where did the time go? Thank you, our few and only fans, for joining us. We're excited to bring you more of our adventures with good food and good people. Reach out. We're here on Instagram. I'm at Dumb and Hungry. He's at my underscore chow. Won't you just slide right in? You can also email us at hi at dumbandhungry.com, where you can leave us your feedback and your love letters. You can find the videos here on YouTube. Won't you like, subscribe, and smash? You can also find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. I'm Nigel. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each. <laughs>